today, we will learn addition of decimal numbers. In a classroom, the teacher was teaching the topic addition of decimal numbers. The teacher asked the students the sum of 213 and 34. The students answered 247 very easily. Everyone was happy that they had answered it quickly. The teacher then asked them, what would be the sum of 2.13 and 3.4? The students started thinking hard as to how they could add these two decimal numbers. Do you also face such problems? If yes, then let's solve it in this video. We need to find out the sum of 2.13 and 3.4. Let's solve this. You must be knowing that in any decimal number, the whole number is to the left side of the decimal point and part of a whole is written to the right side of the decimal point. In 2.13, 2 is a whole number and 13 is hundreds. Similarly, in 3.4, 3 is whole and 4 is tenths. In order to learn the addition, Let's take a square and consider it as a whole or a unit. Since there are two holes in 2.13, we will consider two such squares. And to represent 13 hundredths, we will take a whole which is divided into 100 equal parts and shade 13 parts of it. Similarly, in 3.4, there are three holes, so we will take three such squares. And to represent four tenths, we will take one more square which is divided into 10 equal parts and shade 4 parts of it. Now let's add them. As you can see, there are 2 holes and 3 holes. Therefore, we can say that there are 5 holes in total. Now let's add 13 hundredths and 4 tenths. Can you tell me how to do this? Think for a while. Okay. Let me tell you, if we talk about square of 4 tenths, then we can divide each of its parts in 10 equal parts. By doing so, we will get a total of 100 parts. Now you can see that there are 40 shaded parts here. So, we can say that 4 tenths is equal to 40 hundredths. Now we have 13 hundredths and 40 hundredths. So, what will their sum be? If we place the shaded parts of both squares in one square, then we can say that there are 53 shaded parts out of 100, which means that the sum of 13 hundredths and 40 hundredths is 53 hundredths. Now tell me how do you write 5 holes and 53 hundredths in decimal form? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. We write it as 5.53. In order to find the addition of decimal numbers mathematically, we write these numbers one below the other like this. But while doing so, it is important to focus on their places. We cannot write 2.13 and 3.4 like this. Can you tell the reason why? Think for a while. Okay, let me tell you. If we write it like this, the place value of numbers get changed. Here. The place value of 4 is now 4 hundredths. To write it in the correct form, we have to write 4 in tenths place only. That means below 1, which is also in the tenths place. Now there is no number in the hundredths place. So, we write 0 here. Writing 0 makes no change in the value of the number. But by doing so, the number of digits after the decimal points becomes equal. This helps in performing the addition operation. Always remember that. It is correct to add zero after a non-zero digit in the decimal number and it is incorrect to add zero before the non-zero digit after the decimal point because this changes the value of numbers. Now, we have written the number one below the other and with the help of zero, we have made the number of digits equal after the decimal point. We will add them the same way that we add whole numbers. Here the sum of 3 and 0 is 3, the sum of 1 and 4 is 5, 
the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Therefore, the sum of 2.13 and 3.4 is 5.53. Remember that the numbers to be added have two digits on the right side of the decimal point. As a result, the final answer 2 has the decimal point before two digits from the right side. That means, decimal point in the final answer comes below the decimal point of numbers that we are adding. Today, we have learnt addition of decimal numbers. In the next video, we will see some examples.